Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing fine. And I just wanted to show two small updates. The first one is for a customer of mine, future customer that uh, wants to get um, this gear indicator and he sent me logos and I think this looks real. Let me show you again. I think it looks really nice. I'm not sure if I have it. Yes, I think it was in focus. I just put my glasses on. So he has first the wings and then the Kawasaki Vulcan uh, logo and then the select gear indicator. Uh, select gear, no, select neutral in case if it's in gear. Uh, and he wanted the uh, Kawasaki blue background that I created for him and the uh, digits in dark gray as they are on the original bike. And I also changed, uh, let me do it again here. This is of course just simulating the code, the inputs. Um, so that's his logo he sent me. That's a Kawasaki, select neutral. And this is a new N that I created. That looks like a digital N and then of course the digits. So that I uh, actually I made another video just showing this to him but then I figured uh, other people might want to see it as well. So this is uh, his gear indicator and this is a new feature I'm adding to certain products. As you see it reacts on activity and this is as sensitive I can get it to work. So if I go all the way at the edge of my table which is like a meter from the uh, arm length from my from the gauge you see it's still reacting on here I have a short timeout so I'm able to show you it also has the neo pixel that turns green and this will be used on my um, new color uh, can gauge which will be this size and have the five neo pixels like on the top here and it uh, this is done with the ADXL 345 uh, accelerometer chip that's soldered onto the PCB obviously and uh, the main reason why I wanted to do this is because as you might know the OBD port has constant 12 volt so if I sell the gauges and send them out and I want them to be just plug and play without you to have any uh, wires to find and whatnot because you need obviously switched 12 volt so the display or the gauge is not on all the time and uh, this is what I had in mind so you will be able to just plug it in and leave it plugged in of course there will be no red LED burning I just did it so you see that it's uh, active or okay it's on sleep but actually it turns the neo pixel red and then goes to sleep to save uh, obviously current uh, of course there's still some current running on the processor on the MCU uh, I haven't uh, measured yet uh, how low it goes because this is not the display library I'm gonna use with this and um, what I was gonna say so there will be a period say a week so if you don't use your car for a week I would say unplug the from the OBD port the gauge so it won't drain your battery although it will probably won't drain it in a month because the current is very low uh, but just to make sure and uh, as you know uh, in America for example 
many people and companies got burned because they did not put the disclaimers on there like this one lady that put a dog into a microwave to um, dry it after washing it and then the poor dog died of course and then they had to put the warning into the uh, manual don't put live animals into the microwave because the woman sued for a million bucks or something like that and uh, actually won so that's why I will also uh, put a disclaimer on there to unplug it if it's one week or two week I mean depending uh, newer cars uh, have a voltage or current drain anyway to keep all the electronics uh, working in the car that need to work uh, like the canvas for example that also goes to sleep but still uses current so that was uh, my initial idea and uh, you can actually uh, select on which axis it would sense the activity or inactivity for that matter so if I make anything uh, future variables you can just have it on a on this axis for example uh, which would be the y-axis if you see it like that that would be the y-axis it would only detect it on the y-axis and turn on the display for I don't know 10 seconds and then turn it off whatever you can adjust it of course in the code and um, yes that was that and I also it's the second month uh, on my patreon page and I wanted to thank the six people who are supporting me uh, very very much uh, I greatly appreciate it and uh, who knows maybe I get a few more maybe make it at least 10 people or 20 people I don't know so um, yes I wanted to say thanks to the six people I mean it's like uh, so sm not small number but it's a relative small number so you can say it in a it correctly I mean if it would be 1285 or whatever then I wouldn't say 1025 I would say over 1000 people so uh, yes uh, that's that and also again thank you for supporting me on um, Banggood uh, I think the last for the last three months uh, I have like uh, around $50 in commission which is uh, still not bad because I'm always uh, buying parts with those money with that money and um, all the PCBs and whatnot and uh, it does help so that was that um, now I I have one more news but I will keep that for next video so thanks for watching take care everybody and I wish you uh, great coming week thanks for watching take care